What's going on people, it's KC from www.kc-sands.com Today's video, I've got a question from someone asking me how to load samples into the Ultra Beat and I thought, yeah, why not just do a quick video instead of writing it down and explaining it because um, I don't know about you, but for me, I like to see things being done so that I can learn that way instead of reading it but then other times I, I do read stuff so but anyway let's dive in what you want to do first is open up the ultra beat in the instruments and then you want a clean slate I'll put a link in the description box of the clean slate that I use because I don't I don't think um, ultra beat comes with a clean slate if it does it doesn't really matter so what I normally do and what works for me is I'll have some um, some drum sounds. I've got a drum kit here from freedrumkits.net and it's a Zaytoven kit. If you don't know about Zaytoven, go and check him out. I like to start off with my kicks on the first insert. So basically the C note on your, on your keyboard. So I would just call that quick, <laughs> quick. I just call that kick. Uh, I'd make it simple kicks snare because sometimes I have about three or four kicks and three or four snares and three and four claps and blah blah and that's how I like to do things but I'll just keep it simple today it's kick snare clap hi-hat and open hat so you click onto your kick find a nice kick one that you really feed in let's see what we got in there that do kick there and we just take the first ones snare and then clap just drag and drop straight in. I know some people like to get technical with this envelope over here. Basically, if you pull that out, you just got a longer release. But I don't really like to mess with that unless I really need to. Um, and then we've got hi-hat. Uh, the packs. Then we've got over, <laughs> over, open hat which will we just grab the symbol for now try turning that down a bit you can either turn it down here or you can do what i do drop the vamp drop drop a vamp solo in there and bring it down that way and oops we've got no high up Okay, there's a hi-hat. Yeah. Kick, snare, clap, hi-hat, open hat. Now you're free to just create a pattern. So you can do that all the way up until sample 25. So you can load 25 samples in there. I don't know if you can do more if there's like a secret window that I don't know about, but how I work with it is just put 25 samples in. So now you've got your samples loaded into your ultra beat all you have to do now is save it save it under a name that you're familiar with or you, what you want to quickly type in or whatever and then you can just go back to it whenever you're ready so yeah that's how you load your samples into the ultra beat in logic pro x if you want to know how to to route your ultra beat to your different fader channels check out the video in the description or there'll be a, a link at the top for you to click and you can root all your different parts of your drums to their own individual fader on the mixer it's a short video if you liked it hit the like button subscribe to keep up to date with new stuff that will be coming out i appreciate your time thank you for watching music is life peace <laughs>